so hello guys welcome to my channel today i am going to talk about the second chapter of psychology which is perception social thought and behavior so the content we are going to study is sensation perception factors influencing perception perceptual organization or principle of organization person perception or social perception social behavior such as persuasion attitude and prejudice social influence such as compliance conformity and obedience so talking first about sensation it is the organ that brings information from our environment is the receptor of the sense organs there are five senses so vision for the light auditory to listen gustatory to taste olfactory to smell and tactual to touch so talking about the perception so it is the process through which we select organize and interpret input from our sensory receptors it is the process information extractor which involves sensation provide organization highly individualized it helps organism in organizing and interpretation it gives meaning to the response we receive so basic component of perception are selection organization and interpretation so talking about sensation and perception we have certain differences between them so talking about senses it is simple and initial mental process it is the initial way of acquiring the knowledge it consists of awareness it lacks meaning there is dominance of sense organs it is related to receptor process it is abstract which is general process it is immediate experience next we have perception it is complex mental process it is the second stage of acquisition of knowledge it is meaningfulness there is dominance of brain it is related to the receptor and the mental process there is concrete meaningfulness and past experience now talking about the factors influencing the perception so perception is the process of selecting organizing and interpreting information in a meaningful way so there are three categories perceivers as internal target external and situation so talking about perceiver internal so biological characteristics such as age gender marital status profession residence personal characteristics it includes attitudes such as directly thinking feeling action express likes or dislikes and provide judgment next we have motives it is aimed towards values interest and psychological status next we have interest it is the mental focus to capture the stimuli and ignore the other aspects which neglects the background next we have past experience it leads to the bias to something such as visit a restaurant to the that has a good service next we have expectation it is the way of perceiving the environment in the certain manner the expectation varies from person to person we have target so the characteristics of target is being absorbed that affect which what is perceived it includes attractiveness and unattractiveness it is the mental or physical appeal that which we like or dislike next we have intensity motion or size where the motion creates attention fire engine on the street grabs attention next we have proximity it increases and encourages the interaction and repeat exposure high contact or high perception for example buy one get one we perceive them better and next we have similarity which is concerned with the objects events and persons similar to each other in a group this age sex dress belief attitude direct perception next we have a situation so the objects or events in the environment influence the perception the environment time context location temperature affects the perception for example we don't ha dress heavily at funeral the part of human nature is to be social the influence social situation on the behavior is determined by perception next we have perceptual organization or principle of organization where we will study about principle of closer principle of similarity principle of continuity principle of contour principle of illusion and principle of constancy where there is light color size and shape constancy so perceptual organization of perception principle of organization so our sense react to the pattern of stimuli present in our environment having different pattern depth constancy and movement so sensory impression is produced by stimulus the process of perceiving is the process of perceptual organization 
gestalt psychology try to study the perception in terms of wholeness so we have first principle of closure the incomplete pattern gets complete fulfilled by our sensory gaps it provides the entire pattern such as meaningful over here we can see the example next we have principle of similarity where the similar objects look alike and it is perceived as a unit a group of triangular dots are similar in nature next we have principle of continuity so the object or the stimuli are perceived as a unit or a group on the basis of continuity we don't like to see discontinuous pattern such as over here we can see in the example next is principle of contour so contour is a boundary between a figure and its ground it is responsible for enabling us to organize the object into a meaningful pattern which we can see in the example next we have perceptual constancy so it refers to the tendency to perceive stimuli present in our environment as a relative stable and unchanging psychologists have identified the number of constancy it is further include as light color size and shape constancy so talking first about light constancy so the perception of the object lightness or darkness remain constant despite change in the illumination for example coal is dark even in the light meanwhile snow is white even in the dark next we have color constancy so it is perceived it perceive color as the same despite change in lighting condition for example orange is same in color either in kitchen or in sunlight they are always same next we have size constancy so it refers to the familiar object which do not change in perceived size when viewed at different distance so when the objective is when the object is closer when it is moving away we see object as a smaller there is shape constancy it refers to the tendency of perceiving the shape of similar objects as a stable and constant that our retina images for example coin is in circle despite they are oval and for example vertical line seems to be longer than the horizontal line even if they are same in length next we have perception illusion so it refers to incorrect perception so the illusion is distortion of the sense revealing how brain normally organize or interpret the sensory stimulation there are two types of illusion illusion due to physical condition where it is perceived thing that water is on dry road next we can see illusion due to cognitive process where the illusion of shape and size we can see illusion of size where there is football looks bigger in the hand of the child meanwhile it looks small in the hand of adult next we have illusion of curvature where the horizontal line is seems longer than the vertical and next we have illusion of shape and area where the moon illusion where the moon is bigger near the tree house but it seems smaller at zenith of object so talking about the per person perception or social perception it is judging person in the social context so we have attribution theory it explains how we identify the causes of our of own behavior and others behavior it helps to interpret the world which is the attribution process there are two theories of attribution internal and external talking about the internal attribution the person had control over his behavior responsible for his act and result the internal caused behavior is under the personal control meanwhile external attribution where the person do not have control over their behavior they act in a specific way due to situation or the factor the outside causes person to behave according to the situation faced by him now we have kelly's attribution theory so it is the extended attribution theory representing the idea of internal and external attribution the kelly proposed that individual make attribution based on the information gathered in the informational items such as consensus distinctiveness consistency so consciousness consensus means extent to which they are in the same situation behave the same way next we have distinctiveness where a person behaves in the same way in another situation next we have consistency it is the frequency of a particular behavior over the period of a time and more consistent means 
more the observer inclined to internal cause so observation interpretation and attribution is there so over here we can see distinctiveness in the office performance if there is high distinctiveness it is external attribution if there is low distinctiveness it is internal attribution consensus means pair behave in the same way so it is high in external low in internal meanwhile consistency which means being regular it is high in internal it depends on an individual and low in external which is other factors so over here we can see from example sobha is poorly performing the behavior is widespread within a team which is high consensus consensus as everyone knows it she is only performing poorly which makes her high distinctiveness she is always doing the work in the same way which shows she has low consistency now talking about the impression formation or factor influencing so appearance personality traits community profession skin color age class gender they are factors influencing the impression so it is influenced by two major traits so central trait and peripheral trait central traits means stable across the time for example honesty friendliness and meanness meanwhile peripheral traits means it is affected by central trait which gives less information next we have perceptual error and bias it is the tendency for the individual to attribute their own success to the internal factor as ability and the effort it is putting blame on external failure for the failure as luck it is frequently used shortcut in judging others in different ways such as stereotyping selective perception halo effect contrast effect and projection so talking about stereotyping it is judging someone on the basis of the perception of a group to which a person belongs to for example negroes next we have selective perception where we choose that support our viewpoint and ignores that threat us next we have halo effect it is the general impression about the individual on a single characteristics a person physical dress up and judging him entirely next we have contrast effect it is the enhancement of the perceived difference in stimulus we select them better next we have projection it is judging someone thinking that they are similar to us the manager seeks homogeneous employees in an in organization next we have social behavior so it is directed towards the society includes the interaction among the people it includes persuasion attitude and prejudice prejudice so talking about persuasion it is a process through which a person attempts to alter the attitude of others it is getting bigger and intense which change which business changing attitude the some facts regarding it are like experts are more persuasive than non experts people speaking rapidly are more persuasive attractive sources are more persuasive now talking about attitude so it is the evaluation and judgment concerning the object people and events it neglects on how individual feel about something some characteristics are favorable or unfavorable directed towards objects people and events and consists of cognitive affective and behavioral component as well so talking about the cognitive it is the opinion or belief segment it is informational segment and consists of beliefs next we have affective component where it is the emotion feeling negative or neutral for example sad when seeing a child being punished and next we have behavioral component where it is intent to behave in a certain way to something for example shout at the teacher who punishes at others next we have prejudice so it is the powerful negative attitude towards the specific social group based on single member some of the origin of prejudice are direct inter group conflict such as competition social categorization created by society and then social learning by tv and medias cognitive source such as stereotype thinking now for example enmity between the india and pakistan between based on their race religion ethnicity political system religion and many more 
now techniques of rigid reducing the prejudice are breaking the cycle to prejudice such as discouraging the communication by the parents teachers and media next we have direct intergroup or personal contact which means increase the degree of contact between the different group which is known as contact hypothesis to reduce the prejudice next we have recategorization we're taking people to the us concept rather than them which means taking people towards wholeness as us rather than categorizing them as them now there is social influence it is the effort of one or more individual to change the attitude opinion perception behavior of others the person's attitude opinion perception behavior is altered which includes conformity compliance and obedience so talking about conformity it is adjusting behavior to align with the norms of group and conform according to the social norm social norms are the rules indicating how the individual is ought to behave in the specific situation in a society next we have compliance it is the act of responding favorably to the explicit and implicit request made by of others for example ingratiations ingratiation where others have the positive feeling for liking and influence next we have foot in the door where the small request is made to the large request and door in the face means making large request at first and going to small request later next is playing hard to get which means scarcity which means creating the impression of being popular and in demand next is low ball which means offer is changed makes less attractive after being accepted next we have obedience so it includes individual issue to another to behave in a specific way and make other to follow it so thank you that's the end of the second chapter of psychology so make sure you like comment and subscribe you guys are amazing keep reading